Welcome to this session on modeling steel columns. Our design continues with steel column framing for the upper floors. We'll use the by grid option for the placement option. We'll set the floor selector to locate the bottom of the columns at the correct Z elevation. Select the steel column tool from the structural tab on the ribbon. The property panel opens showing the catalog properties for place column and the ribbon now displays the placement place tab with options for the placement of the column. On the ribbon, set the placement to middle center, set the section orientation with all the offsets set to zero, and the rotation set to 90. An interactive can be toggled off. On the placement options, set the place by method to grid and the length to 27 feet 8 inches or 8200 millimeters. For the columns, you can toggle off automatic coping. In the property panel, set the catalog item to example main column steel. This catalog item is delivered with the work set. Ensure that the following values are set. They should be the default. The section name should be W12 by 35 or the UC356 by 368 by 202. The structural finish should be painted. The structural function should be set to structural. The ID type ID should be set to steel column. The ID item ID should be C2. And the phase should be set to new construction. As we did with concrete columns, Drag the selection tool from the upper left to the lower right, selecting all the column grids. We will then deselect the minor grids as no columns are needed at these intersections. So again, following the prompt, we see we can use the control key to add or remove more grids. So hold the control key down and select the two minor grids, the ones with no grid bubbles. Again, following the prompt, left click in any view to accept the placement. The steel columns are placed at the selected grid intersections. The base of the columns are at the Z elevation of floor one. Again, utilizing the place by grid option is a fast way to get the columns placed in the model. And of course, they can be modified later if needed. In the next video, the steel beams will be modeled. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.